A man accused of murdering a Memphis mother while she was out for a jog could have been off the streets last year, and that mom might have still been alive today. That's all because of a different case and his DNA. Senior correspondent Laura Ingalls here. She's got more on this for us. Laura, walk us through what exactly happened here. You know, unfortunately, this is a story that we've talked about for a long time, and the story of the nation's backlog of untested rape kits is a long one. The National Institute of Justice estimates there are hundreds of thousands of kits in America that are waiting to be processed right now. And in the Eliza Fletcher case, it could turn out that her abduction and murder might have been prevented. 38-year-old Cleotha Henderson, we've been talking about him, was back in a Memphis courtroom this week facing aggravated rape and aggravated kidnapping charges in a case from September of 2021. Now, the DNA samples were added to a backlog of rape kits and were not tested until August 29th of this year. In a devastating twist, he was identified the same day Eliza Fletcher's body was found. That story is not uncommon for, for the city of Memphis. It's just so glaringly obvious that there was just a just kind of a fundamental breakdown within the sex crimes unit. Now these photos of the rape kit backlog in Memphis help illustrate just how many cases are sitting untested in police departments and crime lab storage facilities around the country. The average turnaround in Tennessee is roughly 30 to 49 weeks. And Memphis attorney Daniel Lofton, who represents 80 rape survivors who never had their sexual assault kits tested, filed a lawsuit against the city eight years ago, citing what he called reckless infliction of emotional distress. You know, discarding rape kits, you know, allowing uh, rape kits to be stockpiled, lost, uh, you know, destroyed in some cases. I mean, that was the ultimate insult to, you know, what is um, more or less the ultimate injury. And the final hearing on this lawsuit against the city is expected to be held next month, Sandra. Laura, what are city and state leaders, what are they saying about this? Right, right now, the city hasn't gotten back to us, and the Memphis police tell me that they cannot comment on ongoing litigation. However, Randy McNally, the lieutenant governor of Tennessee, tells Fox News Digital the backlog in rape kits has been a continuing problem and one that is extremely troubling, adding that the state is working to approve the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation's request for more hires for forensic positions, and he hopes that the wait periods will decrease dramatically once the positions are filled. And there's also the issue of unsubmitted rape kits, another complaint from victims seeking justice who are told that their kit hasn't even been turned over to a lab for processing. We've wow. heard that for years as well, That's too. That's a huge problem, too. Yeah. Jeez. Uh, Laura, thank you very much for joining us on that. Stay on it. Important story. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.